when people come here now, and I know some um, are going to be slipping away, um, and you can see some slipping away now, so I've already lost two since I've opened. And yes, it's difficult, but I feel Emmanuel House was born because of these people, and their name will carry on here. They haven't died for nothing. Now, it's time to meet a woman providing seasonal inspiration to us. She's Christine Deponio, who lives in Gateshead. Although busy with voluntary work in local hospitals, the death of a woman earlier this year made her realise she wanted to do more. So she's spending her life savings to convert her home into a hospice for cancer patients. That would be remarkable enough, but both Christine and her husband Raymond are registered blind. Debbie Waldron met them. Since training in complementary therapies such as massage, Christine Deponio has worked as a volunteer in the cancer units of local hospitals. But her skills, not just in massage, but as a good listener, were in such demand that it convinced her she needed to do more. We're having to extend uh, all the side parts here and going right across the top to make a bigger treatment area, to do a, um, a nice big bathroom. That's just the most I've got in this <laughs> got the gates off at the minute because I want to make some handrails and change the gate situation around so people can have easier access and handrails also coming up here to be able to help them a bit better. Watching Christine and husband Raymond, it's sometimes easy to forget that they can't see, but the extensive building work has made their own home something of a mystery. It hasn't been easy. We've had our accidents, our ups and downs, but uh, the lads have been wonderful. I mean, you know, they're always being careful that, you know, if the, what you want to come through, making sure things are out the way of getting your hand and bringing you through. Yeah. But it has. It's been horrendous because we're without, we've been at nearly all facilities for three weeks now. Yeah. No heating, uh, electrics have been off, there's no sanitation, no water <laughs> or whatever. But at the end of it, it's going to be worth it. What I've come for, Keith, is I've, I've been advised to come here because you have a lot of hydrotherapies, jacuzzi, yes. steam and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And I'm interested because of what I'm doing. Right. I'm opening a hospice and, um, and that's what I'm after. Right. Okay. Shall we show you what we've got? Yeah, yeah, we do. Come yeah. this way. You, you don't right mind there? if I just hold yeah. your yeah. hand? <laughs> Christine's vision for her home, to be called Emmanuel House, is as a place for escape or relaxation without the need for an appointment. For the foot? That's foot massage. Wow. So you have foot, you have back massage, Gosh. you have sounds of the wind. And that's off the jets here. Jets in the back oh. from the amber. I'm having steam, jacuzzi, hydrotherapy. This is going to be the treatment area here. And uh, it doesn't look much of a treatment area at the minute, but it will be shortly, you know. But this is going to be the treatment area. This is going to be uh, patio windows, and we're having a door here. Out here. Don't want to fall over anything. I'm going to put some fountains out there. A nice uh, canopy swing chair and what have you. Nice garden furniture and uh, make it a lovely place for the people. Watch. Right around. Although they've spent thousands of pounds of their own money on this project, Christine and Raymond want nothing in return, other than the knowledge that people in great need will be able to treat their house okay. like a home. No appointment needed, free of charge, and um, it's going to be a wonderful place of sanctuary. Well, it is inspiring, isn't it? And those builders must be working round the clock because a manual house is to be officially opened on January the 8th. And um, I'm going to ask Jackie here today to actually unveil the plaque and the memory and the dedication to Diane here today. Mm -hmm. Well, Christine, on behalf of Iris, my son Stephen, my husband David, it gives me great honour in unveiling this plaque in love and memory of all my daughter. Thank you, Christine. Diane King was just 27 when she died. Christine had met her whilst working as a therapist, and it was Diane's death that was the catalyst for a remarkable act of selflessness, as the Deponios poured time and money into converting their home. Because of Christine's, her name, her memory, her live on for future patients who will come to this house, and the love that she gave to my daughter 
through a last few months of her life have really meant a lot to me and Irish. Emmanuel House, as this unprepossessing semi-detached home in Gateshead is called, will be open initially for two days a week. It will be a haven, a place where cancer patients can go to relax, have massage or other holistic therapy treatments. Unlike many hospices, there will be no waiting list and everything will be free of charge. You can go many places to hospices and whatever, but because this isn't hospitalised, it's not clinical, um, and I feel that's what a lot of people want, a place to come to where it isn't hospitalised, it's just relaxing, there's going to be a lovely atmosphere. I'm after quality of life at the end of the day for these people, and for the family, and for the carers. Many people doubted that Emmanuel House would be ready to open on time, but for Christine there was never any doubt. It had to be January the 8th, because today would have been Diane's 29th birthday, and she was buried exactly one year ago. It's an open door, drop-in centre for cancer sufferers and their families. For 20 years it's also been Christine's home. Now, using her own savings and a second mortgage, the semi has been converted to offer a warm, homely environment of therapy and massage. This is going to be a place of sanctuary and tranquility, where people can come in time of need. No appointment needed, free of charge, just knock on the door, come in, you can have relaxation, therapy, you don't have to, but we're going to have workshops and many things happening here, and this is going to be the people's place. It's fantastic. Um, you can have a full body massage, a back massage, Indian head massage, anything aromatherapy. Um, it's just somewhere that you can get away and a total time of relaxation. Christine talks you through it, relaxes you and tells you to clear your mind of everything that's going on. It's not just for the patients, it's for the parents, the brothers, the sisters, if they can't talk to each other, they can come here and talk to Christine and talk to the counsellor, which is a great thing. Watching Christine in action, it's easy to forget completely that she is blind. The holistic therapies that Christine offers are here to complement, not compete, with NHS specialist hospitals. People are ill in communities. Why shouldn't they have sanctuaries and havens and places for therapy on their street? You know, it would be wonderful. There should be so many more places like this. The ideas behind Emmanuel House are unique, but it's the dream of Christine and others who are helping her here that this sort of community care centre should become a national phenomenon, a feature on other streets around Britain in the constant battle against cancer. John Thorne, BBC News in Rothbury Gardens, Gateshead. ...are being praised for transforming the lives of cancer patients. Christine and Raymond Bipolio pumped their life savings into the project, which is thought to be the first of its kind in the country. And patients who visit the house and Gateshead say they can't imagine their lives without it. From the outside, it's an ordinary semi-detached house in Lobley Hill. But inside, it's a sanctuary for those fighting cancer and other serious illnesses. Emmanuel House has been created by alternative therapist Christine Deponio, assisted by her husband, Raymond. Both are registered blind, but have brushed aside their disabilities to help others. Some days you feel sorry for yourself and you think, oh, I'm not going to go out and you think, right, I'll make the effort. You get down here and you just feel a totally different person. Ian Fatkin, who was diagnosed with skin cancer two years ago, is another who finds the house a very special place. Met loads of people, friends now. Uh, lovely atmosphere when you come. And when you, by the time you've been here and gone home, it's really a pick-me-up. Around £60,000 have been spent providing a relaxing environment, which includes a jacuzzi and a mini hairdressers for those who may be too embarrassed or weak to go to the local salon. Even the carpets, anti-allergen and antibacterial, have been carefully considered. It came about um, after uh, working for quite a few weeks and voluntary work in the hospitals, and I just felt, um, you know, God was saying to me there was a need um, for to build and adapt a, a unique place for the people where they could come in time of need. I come here to help out because I understand where these people are because I was a cancer patient myself and so I come and I talk to them, I understand what it is, the different stages that they're at but also to give them a little bit of complementary artistic therapy. Can you imagine a life now without this house? No, 
No, because I've made so many friends and we've just all gelled. It's, it's like one happy family. Oh. Just another day at the Deponio household. It's worth a million pounds. Mary's having a back massage, all part of the service at this home come hospice. Well, I just feel really that um, God guided me into holistic therapies and uh, he made it quite clear what I was to do and, uh, and also that I was to use it especially on those who were suffering with cancer. This semi in Gateshead is a result of that instinct to heal. Christine Duponio opened Emmanuel House four months ago, a unique sanctuary for cancer patients across the northeast. She was here not just to massage me, but she was here for a chat. So if I felt down, I could ring her and speak. And that, that meant a great deal because sometimes, you know, you try and hide things from your own family because you don't want them to worry. You know, and it's good to talk to somebody else who understands. Life's not been easy for Christine and her family, though. <laughs> Turning their home into a day hospice meant living in a building site for months, and they're now £40,000 poorer. But on top of that, Christine has to cope with her own disability. Well, I went blind when I was 16. I found it very difficult. I was quite ill at the time and I don't really think a lot registered. It was difficult. It was like just somebody knocking you on the head with a big hammer. It took a lot of years for me to get where I am today and I think with everything that you do, you, you learn. And when I got over one hurdle, I thought, well, if I can do that, I, can, I want to do this, something else. And, and that's the way it went along the line, you know, when you did one thing, it gave you confidence to do something else. Something else meant Christine eventually using her therapist skills to create Emmanuel House. Happy and you know, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know, clap your hand. It's a positive place where cancer patients can talk to each other and enjoy what for many are their final days. Um, I've had, well, I've got bowel cancer, which has um, unfortunately spread into my liver. So I've lived with that for the last three years and had various um, various treatments, various operations and their courses of radiotherapy and chemotherapy to try and stop things. But unfortunately, the situation is at the minute that I'm not going to get better. So how's this place helped you then dealing with all that? It's absolutely been totally invaluable. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely place where you can come and have a total time of relaxation. When people come here now and I know some um, are going to be slipping away um, and you can see some slipping away now so I've already lost two since I've opened and yes it's difficult but I feel Emmanuel House was born because of these people and their name will carry on here, they haven't died for nothing. For the people who come and go from Emmanuel House, the future is at best uncertain. But with Christine by their side, they believe they'll cope with anything. Over the last few months, lots of you have been in contact with Songs of Praise to tell us about the people that you value and admire, those who make great sacrifices in order to make other people's lives better. Now generally, they're a pretty modest bunch. They don't like too much of a fuss to be made. But on this occasion, I'm afraid, well, they're just going to have to lump it. Because for those people who have nominated them, well, they're really very special indeed.
just an ordinary home in a residential road in Gateshead, but inside, Emmanuel House is a place of friendship and healing. In January 2003, Christine DiPonio and her husband Raymond opened their own home as a therapy centre for those who are seriously ill. The people who come here are mainly those who suffer with cancer. Some of them come with their family, their carers, etc. Don't need an appointment to come here. And the beauty about here is if they want to let off steam, they, they can just come here, they can scream, they can cry. Things that they would maybe not do in a, an ordinary place, like such as a hospital or a hospice. It's a place of fun, a positive place. It's not all doom and gloom here. You never know, sometimes know what's going to happen. They just come and they just take over, and this is their home as well. It's a cancer centre. I offer massage, uh, reflexology, Indian head massage, uh, remedial massage for the carers if they've suffered any injuries or anything like that. This place is unique. You can come, you get fed, you get pampered, and you're amongst people who 